Good morning, folks. We've got some big stories to hit today with some scintillating eye candy that goes with them. We'll hit the galactic current sheet and the plan, if you can call it that, from the U.S. government to defend against the sun. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, quiet day. We had some surging through the central plasma filament, but there was virtually no solar flaring. The plasma filaments did not release. Solar wind at Earth is relatively calm, and so are geomagnetic conditions. The reason there was no flaring relates to what we discussed yesterday morning. The big sunspot group is spreading and separating the magnetic polarities of the umbral cores, and now there is even a bit of decay noticeable in the northern sunspot groups. Flaring is still possible today, but once again, risk is dropping. Top seismic event of the last 24 hours was luckily well out to sea, 6.1 south of Africa on the Indian Ridge. Now, before we get into the top articles today, I really hope you caught last night's video. Unintentionally, I have apparently made one of the funnier videos you guys have seen on this channel. Thor even made an appearance. Check it out if you missed it. Up next, let's go to an incredible simulation. This is part of the various press releases coming out about a new study on galactic physics. It's the 4D2U simulation of the formation of a spiral galaxy from aggregating smaller subgalactic conglomerated matter. The new study is all about spiral galaxies. In fact, they have scoped the earliest known spiral galaxy that they can actually study in detail. Observers can guess what they've found. And I could have guessed they would use unorthodox terminology to describe it. They find seismic ripples in the galaxy, signs of perturbations and wake in the spiral form separate from the spiral arm density. We have seen several ways of describing this wake in the past, hills and valleys, peaks and troughs. Here, they describe it as a rippling oscillation, which isn't the worst description I've heard, like ripples in a pond. It is this undulating outward flowing pattern from the central galactic engine which has been identified in our Milky Way and several other galaxies as the galactic current sheet. However they choose to characterize the shape of the pattern, it means the same thing. Importantly here, they've spotted it in a distant, barely able to be analyzed galaxy. It is ubiquitous. Lastly here today, the U.S. government has released their plan to plan for planning. It really does take them forever to do anything. This is the result of the 2019 demand for action on space weather, which is actually a step after Obama's mandate on space weather from several years earlier, and they are still planning. They do correctly identify how atrociously bad it would be if we took a major solar storm, and then they go on to make several nice sounding but somewhat empty mandate clauses about how they're going to go about better monitoring, analyzing data, and planning for the aftermath of such an event. You'll forgive me if I'm a bit suspicious of their ability to correctly and efficiently accomplish their goals. Last couple days to get all our books in PDF form. They are now discounted for the holiday season. Grab them at the link below. Just a couple more days for that. And there are only five tickets remaining for Phoenix on January 13th. It'll be the longest and most in-depth observer event since our last major conference. We hope to see you out there. Tickets at the link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.